Hi everybody and welcome back to Scrap Addict Creations. I'm Diane and today we're going to be playing with the Good Life paper. I love this paper line so I'm excited to get to use it again. So let's get scrapping. Today's pictures are kind of a, just a jumble of pictures that Nancy sent over and they are of some trip that they went on and they came across John's Barbershop, which um, her son's name is John. And then they just have them in front of this um, like kind of an old store. It's really kind of cool. And there's a, a old gas pump and then just some random signs outside. I thought this was these were really cute and perfect for the Good Life paper. So I was looking around for some embellishments besides these and the, oh goodness, I set them aside. The wood grain embellishments that come with this or are sold, <laughs> sold beside this, sorry. Um, they didn't really fit with the pictures. I almost did a window because I thought the window was kind of cool, um, but I wasn't sure I could kind of do it justice with this paper. So I opted not to do a window. I really liked this um, gas pump. So I couldn't find one exactly like it. I found this one. I did it in, um, what is it? Candy apple and linen. And then I used the vintage photo to just kind of distress it a little bit, add some dirt to it. And then I created this one and I just added some flowers using rosemary light and dark and then um the candy apple as well i am sorry i am looking at these colors going what the color is this uh, and then this is done in pewter because i wanted it to be a lighter gray not a really dark gray so it is light and dark side of the gray and then i also added some of the vintage photo to it um, these flowers can come out i just put glue around the edges so that i could create this little bouquet. I punched out a couple of little tabs or um, labels. I thought I had three. I guess I only punched out two. Um, I'm planning on possibly cutting them in half. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if they'll work. I just like that paper. This is one of the kit exclusive papers and so I wanted to kind of have a little bit of it on the layout. Um, and then this one is like a milk jug and I did add um, some distress to it. I cut this out in mist and then again the flowers are the same and I only glued around the edges so that I could put the flowers in and out. Um, I will have on the blog a link to um, all of the, the kits that I used because they are all, except for the um, gas can. Oops, sorry. This one. Um, everything else is close to my heart. Um, cut files. So I will have a link to that. And then I also cut these flowers in mist and rosemary. And um, I really like them. They're just really pretty. I don't know if they're going to work, but I wanted them. And so I thought I'll just play with them. I am planning to put everything onto, let's see, this paper. This is my favorite. And then I've got the uh, light side of Harbor, and then I've got linen. I liked linen with this one a little more. Um, that was just my my choice. I just thought it was a little, um, I, the tone of it just felt right for what I was doing. So that's why I grabbed linen, and I will be using the lighter side of linen. I also have the sticker sheet, but I thought craft was a really good choice for this one. So I'm going to set the sticker sheet aside and I've got two of these right now. Yeah. So I'm thinking I want like a 10 by 10 over here and then, I don't know, maybe like that over here. Um, the pictures that I've got, I've, I need to scan these and reprint um this one I want a lot bigger I think that that would be a good focal point this one's a little blurry hopefully that won't be too blurry when I 
when I um, kind of go in, I'm going to narrow in on these. Uh, let's see, we've got this one. We've got that one. Oh, John's Barbershop, I went over here. And Irina at this door. I don't know what this is a door to, um, but I think that I feel like these two don't really go with these as much. Um, but I do let, love this one, and I think having that one bigger will be good. So that's kind of my thoughts. And I'm going to go blow up these pictures and <laughs> change them around and put them on a mat. I'm going to go with Harbor on the light side for mat. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the pictures fixed. I have kind of, let's see here, let me grab the originals so you can kind of see the difference in what I did. Of course, that's going to be at the bottom. So I just took this picture and just made this a little bigger, a little brighter as I scanned it in, which I like. The only thing that's frustrating about this one is she's looking that way. And normally I would try to place that over on this side. But again, it's just a different, this is all the same versus this not being. Okay. And then, oh, I did add a couple extras because I had kind of an idea. So then I've got this one of them both on the bench. And that comes from this one. Oops. So just a little bigger, um, just trying to make them, you know, more visible in these pictures. Uh, we've got them in front of the door. Again, just a little bigger, just enough to really see them and make them the focal. This one didn't do as well. <clears throat> it was already kind of blurry. It is still a little blurry, but I still think it's a better picture because it's closer up and you can really see this um, gas pump right there. Um, so my thoughts over here were kind of something like this on this this checkered paper. Um, so maybe having something just this big. And then the barber shop, I cut that down as close as I possibly could and just made it slightly bigger. I couldn't get the, the same size as these. So these ended up being three and three quarters by three and three quarters. This one right here is a little over three and three quarters, possibly three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. I'll just give it three and seven eighths. It's iffy. And then here is the one where Irene is at that door. And so I just really focused in on that. Um, this one. I was able to do the same size. And then this one I enlarged to this. Oops, sorry. So quite a bit bigger and just made them really the focal point here. And I really like it. Love this bus stop right here. We've got a looking like a barn shape. I don't believe it's a barn. Um, I know this was some city that they were driving someplace else too. And they just saw this on the way and took some pictures. So I thought this kind of did it some justice. I really, really like these little guys. I'm not sure if they're going to work. Um, I don't know. I kind of, kind of made them and then just thought, well, we'll wing it. Um, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. It's kind of big. Don't like it over there. Could just kind of tuck it here. And then maybe tuck that up there. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. Okay, so I do want to do this bigger over here. Let me cut that down and cut this size to what I think I should do. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a few cuts and I'm really liking this paper i just really like it so i did linen light and then the checkered and then the light for the harbor i really like the feel of that i'm hoping that this works over here i think it will because of what we've already kind of looked at so that would be there and so this harbor would be at 11 inches this would be at 10 and a half and this one is at 10, I believe. I could be wrong. Nope, this one's at 10 and a half. So this one is at 11 and this one's at 11 and a half. So add a half an inch to everything I just said. So 11 and a half, 11, 10 and a half. 
and they all nestle nicely together. Okay, I still kind of liked how this was tucked under here. And I kind of liked how that kind of tucked under there as well. I'm not sure that will work, but we'll see. And I did like this kind of tucked up there. Um, oh, I'm not loving that. But again, we'll just have to see. So I cut this one right here to eight and a half by 12. Let's kind of move stuff down. And I knew that we were going to have kind of a problem when I started cutting that one. And I liked it with the harbor and the linen around it. So I cut some extra strips. <laughs> At first I was going to leave it and just cut this around this. But then I decided, no, <laughs> we're not going to do that. So I just cut this to one and a half by 11. I think, yeah, 11, okay. And I thought that was too plain. So then I cut, and I added adhesive too. I cut these pieces. This one will have to slide under because this was kind of a leftover piece. Just kind of leave about a quarter of an inch. And I thought that did a pretty good job. I really liked it. I think I want to add some ink to this. These two and this one. I also cut these strips when I punched these out. Or I shouldn't say I cut them because they were just part of a scrap thingy. Um, I just cut it in half. So I kind of like that. It kind of brings that light and dark here. The problem is I don't have it over here. And how would I incorporate that over here? I don't know. It could be that I incorporate it with these little flowers. That would work. That'll add that mist over here. So maybe on that, let's ink these real quick while I am thinking about it before I forget. And I just have my little brush um, and I'm just gonna go along the edges here just to get it a little dirty. Normally I would just use like a finger dauber, but I don't have one handy. So I'm going for this little guy and seeing how it works. It works pretty good. It's giving that dirty that I want, which is nice. I don't think we need to do it on that one, but maybe we do while I'm doing the ivory or the linen. Sorry, it's kind of an ivory color to me. So that's why I like linen. I'll think about that. Let's pull this one out and to the edges here. what that looks like. I think that the plaid needs it as well. So let's try it. Worst case, it just looks a little dirty. But I kind of feel like this place they were at was not the cleanest. Very rustic and kind of dirty, falling apart. I um, started to cut a bench to put on here, but then I couldn't figure out what I would do with the bench. So I backed up on that one. I'm liking this with the, the vintage photo on it. Okay. And then this one.
Okay. I don't think any of the other parts need to be dirtied on up. I think we've got it. So let's adhere the base parts down and I will be right back. Okay, got the bases glued down. I'm really liking the feel of this. I like that this um, lighter, kind of a mist color with a little bit of like a splatter to it is right there. It looks really pretty. Okay, so now I just gotta figure out where we're putting what. So these are all their pictures. Um, kind of there. Let's grab the barber shop and Irena. There and there. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna look. Line those up as best I can right now. I'll have to bring out the T-square for that. Okay, to get this tucked, maybe I won't tuck it. I will have to pull up the paper. Um, this one up there. Just looks kind of vintagey to me, so I like it. This does pull that mist over here, so. And it kind of tames down this gas pump too, which is nice. Okay. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking where we're at. I like that the the dirtied up paper. I like that a lot. Let's see. Now it's too close. I don't know about that up there. Maybe. Maybe we could do that one up there. Okay. If I do it up there, I don't really need to cut it or anything. I can just slide it down. It kind of does look nice. It's not really like bright, which is good too, but it also gives um, an area for a date. And I like expecting these to be glued down. Um, journaling right here. That one would not be journaling and I wouldn't use this. I do have some little flowers. So I could put a little flower and a leaf down here. I've got a couple of them. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm really liking it. I am not titling it because I do not know where they were at. At least that's my thoughts. I do have, the only one that I thought could work would be like this memories, but I don't see where I could put it. And I'm gonna let Nancy worry about the title. I just think that that's probably better. So let me grab my T-square. Oh, my red scissors are in front of my T-square. And let's see here. Let's start the pictures at two, maybe. I would put them there. Maybe just a smidge up. There we go. This is turning out really cute. Just, although I wanna say, how could it not with this blue gingham paper? It's just my favorite, really is my favorite. I'm gonna put this one down next. And I put that one about there. Yeah, this will be easier to center. And then we're gonna flip this puppy over because, or upside down, because I am not going to try and do this upside down. Let's push that one over and I'll leave about the same amount. So probably 
right about there. I like having two of these squares on here too that are more yeah. like for journaling or um, sure that's even um, and just kind of more not necessarily something that you're going to put a picture on, but more just the decorative type bits. Got to have those decorative bits. Okay, got those pictures down. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I like it. And it looks really even too. I've got this nice strip right here, which I could bring this down a little bit. Could even put that in the center, but I think I want it over a little bit. I like the idea of having one of the flowers down there. Uh-huh. Let's grab the sticker sheet that I put on the other side. <laughs> okay. What could we put around it? I love this piece. Oh, we could do some of these maybe right here. Save a little smidge. I don't really have much brown on this one, but it's okay to bring it in here, right? The wood grain up top. Let's see how that looks. Oh, well, that's cool. I put them up a little high, but I think that that'll work out. Um... Anything else for this? I'm not seeing anything else I love. Let's put some pop tape on this little guy. got to figure out what I'm doing with the flowers and pop tape because they are still not glued in and I kind of like the idea that they're not because then we can change them around if we need to you know it kind of stays nice I don't think I'm going to worry about that I am going to get a little tiny glue dot Make sure I've got the correct side. I do want the light side because this layout doesn't really have red on it. So adding the red is, you know, kind of like in my mind, a faux pas. So I took the inspiration, of course, from the red right here, um, but the paper really doesn't support that. So adding it on the lighter side is making it so it's not like red. <laughs> because we know we don't like that. Um, I did pull out also, these are from the, oh goodness, I can't think of what it, Hope and Kindness. Oh, I wrote it down right here. It's right there, Hope and Kindness. I like that one. What else is in this one? Um, Hearts. These are kind of cute. Got a little polka dot. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to use the glue dots again for that. That one's really cute. Oh my goodness, that's cute. I'm glad I thought about pulling these out. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, what else do we got? 
I don't think we can use any of these flowers with that. And now it just doesn't look right. What about some of the... Mm, no. Not necessary. Oh, but this one's kind of a solid one. What would that look like? Nope. Still don't like it. Okay. We've got some hearts. Oh, what about that for the... Do you want it on that side? I think I'd want it on that side. Oh, kind of like the feel of all those little hearts. They're so cute. What other ones do we have? Oh, there's a polka dot one in there. I see you. I'm trying to get you. We did some little hearts down there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know on that one. I like them though, they're cute. I do like this. Oh, we've got some stitched hearts in here too. What if we were to. Oh, I like that. Okay. I am so glad I pulled these out. I have never actually used them, I've just hoarded them. And my goal is to use up some of my products. So this is even better. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Wow, that's so cute. Um, I want to say that this cutting file for, I think this is actually from this one, from the, what is it, The Good Life. I'm pretty sure that this one is from The Good Life. I think the other one is from the garden one from last year, and I cannot remember that name off the top of my head. So I'm sorry, I will notate that on my blog. Here's some more like hearts that have the centers only if I take the, the heart out. What does that look like? Hmm, I don't know. Kind of looks like I'm putting to put and I don't want that, but I do feel like we need something down here. I like that too. Okay. Oh, there's a little stamp in here. Maybe we can use that or some flowers. Hmm. I know I'm determined to put something down there. I think I'm going to put this down there. I'm just going to put it with some glue dots and try to hide the glue dot as much as possible. And then we can always take it off if we don't like it later. Oops. I guess we're just putting it on with the glue dot up top there. I think that looks cute. <laughs> I think it looks cute. I wonder if I should put some dueling along here. Hmm. I might not have enough space on the other one. And it would look kind of silly if I did it on one side and not on the other. Um, I do need to put this down. I like all these craft pieces. They're so cute. Oh. I wonder. I like these. What if I was to put, nope, that's too dark. Just the, I'm looking at the edges. I'm not looking at what they're, what's on them because I don't really feel that that works. But I think, oh, well, I'd have a hard time sliding that in all the way. Let's see if I can. Pull that up a smidge. Oh, 
I like that. It's just a little bit of something down there. It's very nice. Okay. Um, I also have this. It looks so crooked. <laughs> it looks just so crooked. Looks a little better. This doesn't look perfect either. I wonder if moving a heart over. Oh, no. No, there we go. Okay. The heart right there. It doesn't look good if that brown piece goes into the heart. So that was a no-no. I am loving this. It's not too much. It's just right. So that is always wonderful. Let's see here. Now we've got this side. And this is probably the biggest element I've got to work around. So we put that. Oops. Just going to take off one side of the adhesive. So I can kind of mess around with this. Okay, I like that. Did not put it down evenly though. There we go. And this little guy, I think I wanna put a little pop on this top part. Grab my pop tape. And the rest of it just kind of adhered down. Okay. okay. Looks good. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And then there's a nice space up here for a title. Let's grab this. Let's see if I can put those in the same space. I can't. So if I just do it a little over on each end, that should be fine. Okay. I'm watching this little line right there because that's the one that I'm going to be kind of lining it up to. There we go. Yeah, I like I like that spacing. Hopefully the spacing on the top one will be just as nice. So if we go up to there, oops, I should watch over here. Come up to the top of that one. It's always nice to have geometrical paper that you can kind of use as your grid, as long as it's pretty even. I mean, nothing is perfectly even ever, but hopefully it's even enough. Okay, I'm going to put this under there because I did like that. And that'll be a perfect place for a date. And I think in the other side of this one as well. Push that down. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up and I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back side and kind of shove this under. Oh, I really like that. I know that the watering can doesn't really fit, but I feel like it works because it's kind of vintagey stuff. Um, there might be some other stuff on the sticker sheet, but I want to get these flowers down before I lose them or break them. And I'm just going to put them flat with glue dots because the roller thingy is not working real well. So if there's too many layers and it's like, no, thank you. But I do need it on the stem. Come on, get on the flower. 
This one I'm pretty sure is also from, what is the name of that paper? Um, it's the one with the gardening, Bliss, something Bliss. That's as far as I can remember. Okay, I'm going to put this one. Oops. Let's just put that right there. There we go. And then Backyard Bliss. This one is from Backyard Bliss. I'm pretty darn sure. Took me a minute or two or ten, but I got it. Okay, I'm on. Okay, let's toss that over there. And normally I would actually kind of cut these stems down, but I think they look really pretty with the stems. I think I want that up a little higher. There we go. And then I love that the excess glue that I put on here that folded over just kind of wipes away. I think that looks really cool. Okay, so now we've got stickers and we've got a bit of this stuff. Um, I think I want to do that on this one. Oh, it doesn't wipe away as much when I print pictures. <laughs> So we will take that off first. I'm going to put that up as high as possible. I did leave the house number on the door. Um, I don't know. I don't believe it's important, but I also don't want to say, oh, it's not important, and then find out that it was severely important. Yeah, I think this guy over here would be good. Let's grab a glue dot. I like having a glue dot on this one because it's easy to move if I decide I need to move it. And what kind of heart? Oh, perfect. I'm putting a little heart on this one too. Oh my goodness, isn't that adorable? Oh, sorry, I love that. Okay, let's look at this postage stamp because I do like this postage stamp. I think I'm gonna put the postage stamp down here. I think I want him down here. I just think he's so cute. This is just for cuteness factor. It's not even like maybe, I, I just have to have him here. He's so cute. That is the cutest postage stamp I think I've ever seen. That's cute. Okay, what else can we put over here? So we've got a little sticker here, a little sticker here. We've got Happy Place. Um, the Better Together. Hmm, I don't, I don't know if that fits. What about this Keep It Simple? Okay, maybe. Let me see the better together. I cover up that, that tab if I do that there. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try to tear this up and trim this into a flag. And then I'm gonna get those other pieces that are not, I'm just gonna set that there. I'm gonna put these flagged pieces that aren't flagged yet on here. So I'm just gonna do the opposite, oops. That one's not long enough. But that's okay. We have we have other options. This one will be long enough. Oh, cool! And the words will go the right way too. Let's see here. Oh, I like that on there. 
Okay. It's not straight, but it is on there. I shouldn't have fought the better together. I just wasn't sure about it. Uh, that's too short still. But this other one is not. I can't cut very much off of it. Um, let's set that over there. Living wild and crazy. Putting stickers down where they're not supposed to be. Okay. This one. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I do like that a lot. Um, and I think a heart right here, a small one. I'm hearting this up a lot, but I like it. I think it needs to be that one. Yeah. It needs to be this, this fluffy one. Big butt one. You turn it over, it kind of looks like a big butt. Okay, let's see here. What have we got? What else do we got that we can mess around with? I'm really liking this. I think this turned out really cute. Hmm. So much for that title up there. She's got a little space right here. That'll be for the title. Or she could do title here and here. Or we don't need a title. Right, Nancy? We don't need a title. Um... That one is taking up the other flower. There we go. Just kind of move it. Let's see. So we've got words. We've just got miscellaneous. I wonder what it would look like with just some little tabs. I feel like it needs something up here. And it's probably because it needs, you know, a title or something. But I think that that pulls that away right there, that it doesn't feel as though it needs as much. So that's good. Do we have any circles over here aside from this one? We don't. So let me grab one of these. See, hmm. Well, that I'm not sure of. I don't think I like it down here, but I might. Let's look up there. I don't like it up there. I think that's the place for it. And that balances out that polka dot too. So we got circle, circle, circle. Okay. Let's take a look. I really do think this is done. I think if I add anything else, it's going to be too much. Um, and then Nancy can do journaling right here, a title if she wants to across there or down here and I think that leaves her good enough space okay so this is what this one turned out I am very happy the pictures blew up nicely the only one that's problematic is this one um, and it might be that we just change it later or Nancy likes it we'll just see and I will have links to all of this stuff on my blog I don't know if there's much of the good life left, this paper is amazing. So if there is, I will, of course, have those links. And um, I will have the cut file links as well um, for you to purchase on um, Close to My Heart, um, either through me or through whoever your um, maker is. Okay, so have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming to play, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe 
If you would like to see more of my videos, leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.